me with each 20 bones as I'm getting into woodworking. What's the best? What are the best selling furniture pieces pieces and what should I stay away from? Furniture pieces that sell are um, the, the, the toughest to find are the matching nightstands. Those are the that's the number one, a holy grail in style matching nightstands that are sort of universal. Those are very hard to find the TV or the buffet piece is very hard to find. Sofa tables are very good, which is the tall table, the tall skinny table that goes behind the sofa. Those typically sell pretty well. Interesting 70s sofas and pairs of club chairs. Pairs, too, of cool chairs to put in a house. Everybody needs them, no one's got them. Those are the best pieces. Beds don't sell, other pieces don't sell. Dining room sets, dining room chairs sell, but for the most part. First ever super chat from our friend Mad Spliffa. Uh, with oh, the yeah, 20. Thank you, man. He says, Uncle Nicky, shamanic scandals ordered and yeah, on the yeah. way. I Thank you, sir. It. I saw Bill Steffens for a Knoll mid-century armchair. Bill Stevens? Yeah. Steffens. I saw Bill Stevens for Knoll mid-century armchair at a local antiques mall for 200. Mm. Wood looked a little worn and the upholstery was whack. Is it still a good deal or not? No. No, you can't redo those. I've owned those before. They have a, um, a foam underneath them. So the ones I had, I had like, I had a set of four of these. I actually had these orange ones right here and the foam underneath them. No, you can find them. That's, that's office decor. They're pretty good. But unless there were these, hmm. these are kind of nice. Upholstery is not cheap though, man. And upholsterers, dude, are fucking, you got to reupholster and usually, it's usually better in a pair. Sing. Single dope chairs will drive you nuts. When I first met my wife, I had 70 single dope chairs in my basement of my crack house at 812 Douglas Avenue, Douglas Avenue in Providence. I had, I owned this little crack house right here. And then in the basement of this, I had 70 single cool side chairs. I shit you not. And um, they just drove me nuts. Every, I'd buy them all over the place, 25 bucks, 30, 10, 15, $5, $70. And I would try to sell them. Everybody wanted pairs. All the pairs, when I went to go sell them, I brought them through a fancy mid-century auction. I got fucking hosed by this lion sack of shit lady. If she was a guy, I would have kicked the fucking shit out of her based on how much she lied to me. I, I rented a fucking U-Haul. I took like 70 chairs to like Northern Mass to like this Belmont, Massachusetts auction. And I went there and my shit did like fucking no money. And I was so sad. Yeah. Oh, it was the saddest day. I went to the liquor... I, I watched what my first set of chairs did. They did like $20. I went to a liquor store, bought a bottle of wine, came back there, and I drank the whole bottle of wine sitting there in like a shitty auction while this lady auctioned my shit off that I thought I was going to make $20,000 on. It cataloged to $20,000. I got a check for $800. Really? Oh, I was so sad. Was that deep? Oh, I thought I, th I thought I was sitting on a gold mine. I had like really good ones really early on, 2009. It was such a sad day. Oh, well. Live and learn. Yeah, what's up, 89100 with the 15. Thank you, man. Uh, love the work, guys. I love Stickly Furniture and wanted to ask what other brands I should be looking at. If you like Stickly. Ooh. Mm, if you like Stickly, the big shit. You should check out the really, really... If you like Stickly, there's this, like, really... I'm going to buy some chairs in a couple of weeks. I, I saw them at an auction I want to go to. The Empire, some of the Empire, like the Black Forest Empire furniture is fucking bananas. It's a little more ornate, but it's got that big profile, like the fucking arms of the chair. It's wood formed. It's nicer. Um, I'll show you in a couple of weeks. I'll have some cool shit. I like some of the Empire furniture, some of the chairs, but it's got to be the bit. It's got to be like the right piece when the Victorian shit. A lot of Victorian shit sucks, but that era it fits is big, chunky, fucking big, built up shit like that. That's kind of wild. I don't even know who makes it. Maybe um, it might be uh, not Biedermeier. But uh, is it Biedermeier, I think, maybe? But I don't know. And we also have Luke Bagnell with the 15. Yo, my house has a set of raw concrete steps leading up to the front door. They're solid, but they look shabby. What do I do to spruce them up? Just paint, tile the risers, or just paint it? Resurface it. Um, drill out all the bad shit, chisel away all the bad shit, and resurface it. It's uh, Look it up on YouTube, how to resurface concrete. It's not that hard to do it. And then you basically, you make a mix, you patch your holes in, you grind it all down, get it all sweet, and then you, you resurface the whole shit with it. They sell kits now to do it, that's the kind of shit. Look up the old school way to do it. I think you make your own batch, you scratch coat, and then you re-scratch the whole thing. That's the best way to do it. Um, don't go too hard, try it. Try it on a cinder block. Get two, get two cinder blocks, do a test, figure, get your method down, but look up a fucking, hey, go on TikTok, look up resurfacing stairs, that's the way I would do it. Don't go nuts. Don't tile it. Tile looks like shit. 
You get, like look at when, I don't yeah. care what any house you look at like like it, look, it looks like someone like a I don't care if they sell outdoor one inch slate with the 12 by 12 you have to either blue stone the top and then you have to stone facade but then if you start doing stone on the side of the, the stairs you have to continue on with the, the stone in another place and then you have to refine it that's the problem about doing stone so just resurface them nice nice and call it a day